When I think about Malaysia, I think about the incredible food scene here. And what we fail to realize when we only stick to the big cities is that we don't get a chance to discover the amazing dishes that we can find in other parts of Malaysia. So we decided to take a trip to the East Coast and our first stop here is Kuantan, where we hope to discover some amazing dishes all throughout the East Coast. And there's a really popular dish here, which is called Ikan Bakar. And we're gonna go try that dish out. We're gonna go to this really popular restaurant here. I think they open at like 4.30 or so. And we're gonna be trying this uh, fish dish. I think it's like a barbecue fish. So we're gonna be trying that out. I'm really excited. I heard that it's spicy and I really love spicy. So if you guys are not familiar with me, you're gonna get to know me really well. If you're new here, welcome. And uh, let's go head over right now. All right, so I'm here and I'm in front of Anna Ikan Bakar Patai restaurant and we're gonna go inside. We're pretty early. This doesn't seem like there's really anybody here. It looks like they're just opening up. So we're gonna go inside hopefully and see what kind of fish we're gonna get. <laughs> yeah. Famous. Oh, famous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay, so yeah. Okay, I tell you. Siaka, merah, kerapu, jenaha, bawa emas, aji-aji, ikan pari, butter, squid, all right, so you pick your fish first. We picked the ikan siakap. I think that's how you say it. It's basically a sea bass, so we're gonna get that. Oh, that's, yep. So this is like the thinking. Yeah. Okay. This one. Okay. This one. Put down here. Okay. All right. Huh? Oh, that's a lot. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Onions, tomato. Okay. Onion, tomato, and. Patai. Patai. Yes, it. This one. This one. And grill. Oh. Alright, so he just brought us like a coconut shake with some vanilla ice cream in it, I guess. And this tastes delicious. Um, it's supposed to be like a coconut milkshake, I guess. Mmm. It's like so refreshing. But I, I'm waiting for this fish. I'm like super excited about this fish. So there's like a bunch of stations over here. There's like a drink station behind me where you order your drinks from. And then it's like another station. He said the rice comes from a different area. Back there they cook the fish. Over here I think they make smoothies. So there's like so many different sections you can go to to order stuff. So I guess this is like the hardest part when you have to wait. <laughs> because I want it now. <laughs> All right, he just gave us a nod. So I think the food is coming now. This is for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you opened it and everything. Yep. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is for you. Oh, perfect. Thank you. And this is for you. Thank you. <laughs> you want the rice? Uh, yes. Yes. Yep. yes please. All right, it's here, but I know it's like really, really hot, so I'm trying to wait. Um, I think we still have rice that's coming as well, and we have some like sides. I guess this is like, um, I'm not even sure, like it has chilies in it, um, onions, I think garlic as well. Just got like this tom yum soup. So, mm. it's a bit sour. What's this? Is it squid? Oh, octopus. So it has octopus in it, shrimp. Um, what is this? I hope not oysters. <laughs> mm. But it is a bit sour. All right, I think the fish should be a little cool now. Um, I'm not even sure how to eat this. I guess you just like pick it with your hands. It is. All right, I'm gonna try a piece of this. It's, it's a bit hot, so I was like burning my hands. Mmm. I don't normally like the head of the fish on my plate, 
and I see the mouth, I'm looking right at it. So, <laughs> I did make that clear in my other video where I was trying like Patan Timpanyol. Please forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, but I did try it before and I don't like it on my plate. <laughs> I'm gonna start at the bottom. I start at the bottom. Because I see the mouth right there. I see the eyeballs. Oh yeah, it's still, it's still really hot though. Mm. But he like he loaded it up with like sambal and I really thought it was gonna be spicier than this, but it's not spicy at all, to be honest. Maybe that's what the chilies and the, the soy sauce are for. Mm. That's good. Mm. So wait, am I gonna put this on the rice now? I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but I just, I put it on my rice anyway. All right, I'm gonna mix this with the rice. Ooh, it's hot. I'm not a righty. I'm trying to eat with my right hand, so it's me struggling, basically. <laughs> so, if you see me eat with my right hand, and I look like a beginner, that's the reason why. That tastes good. When you mix it together with that, mm. I don't know. I'm just mixing everything together. I don't know. Had to put some of the chilies in there. Yeah, I've, I'm like struggling with my hands right now. Mm. It's so good. Did you put this on your rice? Put this on your rice. And just mix everything together. This is really, really good. Like. It's not that often that I go to like restaurants and order seafood, but like how could I be here and not have the seafood? It's just a must. You have like the spiciness, the fish is cooked perfectly. And then I never really had like stink beans. He said that they're, they're the patai beans. Mmm. Oh, they're good. They have like, kind of like a sweet, a little bit of a sweet flavor to it, maybe. <laughs> but I wish you would have like brought it to the table with the banana leaf cover. I wanted to open it myself. It was my first time eating out of like, eating fish out of a banana leaf. Yeah, I couldn't imagine getting like two of these. <laughs> I don't even know if you got that. What is this? It's like just like a. Oh, it's cold. Mmm. Okay. So he brought like a, it's like a dressing to me. Like it has tomatoes in it. Um. Maybe some other peppers. It has like a vinegary taste to it. So I don't know. Am I supposed to put that on the rice? Like I put it on the rice and the fish, and I just ate everything together. But I don't know. If that's what you're supposed to do. Like, believe it or not, this is a lot of fish. This, this is like a huge fish. This is a lot of fish, right? What fish do you guys usually order with it? Like, we ordered the sea bass. It has less bones in it. I prefer it that way. But what fish do you normally like to have if you've ever tried this before? I'm trying not to drink all of that. It's so good, like, the sweetness of it. I love it. I was trying not to eat as much rice, but this, like, mm. I'm gonna take some more of this sauce. I think it's like tamarind, mixed with onions and stuff. The more sauce, the better. Mm. There's like a cat, he keeps, like, putting his paws on my leg because he wants them. I don't think you want any of this. This is spicy. Like, I'm not sharing. Go away. No. 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 This cat is literally standing on my leg right now. Just won't leave me alone. I think the cat wants to be on YouTube. Mmm. Mmm. 
was so good. I had like a mouthful of like onions and ginger and whatever that is in there. And that was so good in the sambal. Peppers, the onions, all of that. Oh my gosh. I like, I soaked it. <laughs> That's the thing. You, soak, you have to soak your rice. Mm, yeah. It makes a big difference. You should take, try to get the part with all this like onion and the, the beans, Thai beans, get all of that in there. Yeah, like all the sambal and all that together in there. That was so, this is like so good. I'm so happy I came here. Like, I want some more. I'm over here eating like the sambal with the uh, onions and ginger and stuff, all that in together. And I like, I really want more rice. <laughs> But I'm not gonna do it because that was actually a really big portion of rice. But it tastes so good. I mean, we had a lot of good things here in Malaysia, but can I say this is my second best meal? Yeah, this is the second best meal. <laughs> Everything's delicious, but I don't know. It's just something about this too. It's the so sweet, the spiciness, the sambal. It's like. The truth like it's something about like it's because when you put it on the grill you grill it like that it gives it like this different taste to it like more like of a caramelized in a way kind of flavor to it like a smoky flavor to it so it makes it taste even better that's what it is I, I can't stop eating it I think I'm full I'm done so this food was really good I think next time you come here I might end up trying like the squid or the crab or I don't, the prawns I don't know like everything looks so good um, Especially when you have everything mixed together with the sambal and then the, the, I guess it's like some sort of a, I guess maybe like the tamarind sauce and stuff like that. Once you mix everything together, it just adds like a different flavor to it. That's like super amazing, delicious. And um, yeah, I would say that I want more like I normally do, but I don't think I want any more because I am very full. I don't think I can eat anymore right now. So maybe we'll come back some other day and have some more. I don't know. It's so funny because like the sauce, the sambal actually reminds me of like the sauce we used to make at home and we would put like pineapple in it, put a, it has like chilies in it, make it really spicy and sweet. It tastes just like that. This is so good. Like I could literally put this in a bottle <laughs> and pour this on everything that I eat. <laughs> he looks like he's ready for bed. He's all laid back and stuff. He doesn't even look like he wants to move. So I'm sure we'll be sitting here for a little while longer. I'm always ready to get up because I can't sit still. That's so true. Like I'm ready to get up and move around and like get this food digested so I can eat some more. And you're like ready for bed. You very long to come from here. The long to come from here can you just be on chest. This Don't is for our love and appreciation. This it is was delicious. This is, uh, yes, it how is. how do you feed just your milk? No, see this. You see, you see. We eat everything. Right? Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> you you first time to eat kambaka yeah. 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 All right, guys. So if you are in this area of Malaysia and Kuantan, you have to definitely check out this restaurant. It was amazing. They were really really nice to us and so helpful. For if, so if you're not sure what you're doing, just make sure you come to this restaurant. You check out this restaurant. You eat here. It's only like a five hour, no, actually four hour bus ride from um, Kuala Lumpur. So definitely easy to get to. Come check out this area super amazing so if you guys like this video make sure you like it you share it and you subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye